Hey, Aaron Thompson here with Whisker Tango. Uh, we are a charity organization that takes uh, veterans, police officers, and firefighters on catfishing adventures. And this video, I'm going to show you what I do when I catch live bait for our flathead trips and whatnot, and how I do it at home. So, as you can see, pretty productive day of fishing. I counted 47 fish I caught today, and I'll go over this setup as well as the setup that I use when I'm uh, catching the fish. So, uh, here we go. Alright, so here's my little setup I got in my garage. Um, this is a country line 100 gallon trough. Uh, I got a tractor supply. And uh, inside, right there, I've got a pond pump that's rated about, I think, 150, but mainly that's to filter everything out. It's got a three stage filter in there. Um, it's got a light in there, UV light. Um, contrary to what I thought, that does not supply oxygen in the water, so I do have some air stones, which I'll show you in a little while. But uh, let me go ahead and get this filled up and uh, show you what I do. Alright, so as it's filling up, I just use regular hose water, water from the tap from my faucet. Um, and uh, what I add after it's all said and done because of the chlorine and everything is this stuff right here G juice. Uh, live well treatment um, basically adds uh, some nutrients and removes ammonia, chlorine, stuff like that. And I just follow the instructions. Usually, I think I use two ounces. It's on the box somewhere. I just, as soon as I dump it in, you'll see once I get everything set up and it turns blue and helps keep the fish alive. So I'll just pause it here and then wait for it to fill up and we'll go over the rest. Alright, all filled up. I fill it up to about mid that line. Gives enough room. If I need to add more water later, I will, depending on how many fish I get in there. But, uh, pond, the pond pump's running. Kind of getting the stuff that was on the bottom from the last thing filtered out and light on. And then I'll show you right here my air pumps. I got a 80 gallon one on the right, and then a 40 gallon on the left. Got two hoses coming down from the 80 gallon and one from the 40 gallon. And then uh, got them on the hook to these air stones. Got the large ones on the 80 gallon one, and they'll be on the side with the pump because that's a little more turbulent over there. And then if the fish need to rest, I'll have one air stone from the 40 over on the side. That'll kind of be their rest spot. But let me go ahead and get that situated and I'll dump in the uh, G juice. All right. Air stones are going. Got my G juice, about two ounces, and pour it in. And uh, eventually that entire thing will go blue. As you will see in the beginning of the video when I have fish in there, which I'm going tomorrow, I just always set up a day before and get the chlorine out. And uh, it'll be nice and blue tomorrow. And then uh, as long as it's blue, they say it's working. I like to, I mean, by the time I use all the fish, I'd empty my tank anyways, but should be good to go. Hopefully I catch some decent bait fish tomorrow and uh, just wanted to show you how to set up an at-home live well since there's a lot of videos out there for boat live wells but not at, at home and living in a townhouse I don't have one room for outside and I really didn't want to use a chest freezer. Uh, I guess the only other thing is my, my garage doesn't get that hot. If you get a hot garage you're going to want to cool it down somehow. You can use uh, frozen milk jugs or something like that, frozen water bottles, but I'd never have any issue. So, uh, that's it. Alright, so, part of catching bait fish, uh, I usually get a five gallon bucket and I get one of these hush puppy, bubble things, hush puppy, hush bubble things. And with an air stone in it, I fill this up, put it with water in it, you know. I'll catch, you know, a dozen fish or so, whatever I feel like is too much, and I'll put them in there. And then when I'm done, I got a battery, it's hooked to this cooler right here, and I got this live well system. Got off of the Amazon. It was like, I guess, thirty bucks. It's called like, man, I forget what it is. You just look up live well, portable live well. You can see the fish in there. I got some ice packs floating in there. This isn't the cooler I use on my boat for my live well, but uh, this is my bait. This is gonna be my new bait cast in the live well. I mean, I've got a couple mud cats in there and a couple bluegill. I mean, they're all staying alive. So that's just my setup that I take with me. Um, when I'm bait fishing. And then what I did, this is my boat battery. I take it in every night to 
much anyways to the bilge pump part of the i think it's called fish saver i, I can't remember the name but uh i attached a, a carb jack plug and then i bought this pigtail connector that goes to these and that's how i run it and it keeps the fish alive all day and i got the ice packs in there to keep it cool for them so that's what i do when i'm on the water catching bait fish so here's the final finished product how i keep it i put a i got some blind netting at uh walmart or something like that because i have had fish jump out and it's not fun to find them in the morning so this prevents them from jumping out so hopefully the video was informative uh, check us out at whiskertango.org and follow us on facebook at facebook.com slash operation whiskertango thank you so much have a good one